Having made fountain pen videos for well over a decade, I've been thinking about ways to keep things fresh and exciting for you all. So I'm trying a new format of video here where I recap some of my favorite pens that have come out this past summer of 2022, approximately June through August. I don't have a super strict order that I'm gonna be doing these in, but I'm generally gonna be starting with the ones that I'm maybe a little less excited about and build up to the ones that really get me pumped up. So be sure to stick around and see what tops my favorites. All right, well, let's jump right into it. And I'm gonna kick it off with Pilot Custom 912. Now this isn't a new model or even a new color, but it's on this list because Pilot expanded the nib offerings here in the US and we took them all. <laughs> we now have 15 different 14 karat nibs on the 912, including specialty grinds like soft nibs, posting, course, and music. This is now the largest offering of nib grinds on a single pen that we have and having written with them all myself for our Nibnook writing comparison tool. I have to say, there's pretty much something for everybody in this pen now. It feels like Pelican was on a white pen kick with their M600 Special Edition pens for a number of years, and that's all well and good. I like those, I do, but when I saw the M600 Tortoiseshell Black, it really hit the mark for me with that resin that almost looks like a baloney shell. It's not, but it looks like it. Uh, the M605 is a great all-around pen size, and it has a lot of the best features of what makes the Pelican Souvrons so iconic. Now, a quick note for you here, while I'm taking into account each pen's popularity, what I put on this list is ultimately my own opinion, and it will be fairly subjective. So take that for what it's worth. Whatever your feelings are about my choices, share it in the comments so that I and others can see. Platinum 3776 Century 10th Anniversary limited edition. So 10 years ago, Platinum upgraded their iconic 3776 model with the 3776 Century. It jazzed it up a bit and included the slip and seal mechanism to keep the nib inked up and ready to go. Well, Platinum celebrated this with a 10th anniversary pen. And being completely honest, the design of the overall pen isn't all that much to my taste, but I respect it. But what got me excited about this was the nib, which they made softer than they normally do for their relatively stiff gold nibs, and I really like the way it writes. I really hope that Platinum makes more nibs like the one on this pen, and time will tell if that actually happens. This next pen came out with a lot of the right moves. <laughs> The Sailor Knight to E4. First glance, this North American exclusive Sailor doesn't really stand out that much from other pens, but the subtle details like the pearlescent charcoal resin, the gorgeous bicolor 21 karat nib, the knight inset in the cap finial, and the weighted metal grip really make this a nice collectible for any chess fan wanting one of the 500 in this limited edition. Sailor Shikiori, Sound of Rain, Pro Gear Slims. I'm jumping right into another Sailor series. They've really been pumping out some awesome designs lately. There were other Sailors that I had to leave off in order not to make this an entire video about Sailor, but I had to include the Sound of Rain Pro Gear Slims. They did four colors of them, one named for each season that complement some of these Sailor Shikiori inks. And while they all look great, the Spring Rain has been the most popular with winter not too far behind. That's not a huge shock because the translucent resin looks fantastic and the shimmering purple finials on that spring. I just wouldn't have thought to do that combo myself, but boy, Sailor has an eye for these colors and they just keep putting them together in such a great way. Now, I'll go ahead and mention here that all these pens are up on gillypens.com, so you can see more tech specs, details, pictures, and stuff like that, and they'll all be linked up in our video description. But if you're watching this video months or years after it publishes, some pens may go away by the time you see this, and I'm sorry if that happens. I figure you'll forgive me on a seasonal roundup style video like this. Lamy Vista Black. All right, now we're getting to the cream of the crop, my favorite of favorites. The Lamy Vista Black, I'm pretty biased on since it's a Goulet Pens exclusive, and that absolutely is influencing my love for this pen. I've always appreciated Lamy Vista, and when we had the chance to do an exclusive trim option for it, we jumped right on it. So I've covered it more in depth in my full video review, so I'll move along now, but this pen holds a special place in my heart. Kueco All Sport Iguana Blue. This pen just looks awesome. I gotta say, the teal is just like this perfect balance of green and blue, and that matte finish 
almost makes the pen glow. Now, normally I like silver trim, generally, but the yellow gold really warms up this pen, and frankly, it all just really works well together. Personally, the resin Quaco pens, they're a bit light for me in daily use, so I actually like the added weight and the feel of this aluminum pen. Kuwaiko's come out with some great looking all sports in the past, and to me, this one tops them all, and I don't think I'm alone in saying that. Sailor 1911 bespoke Nihon Ukami Tugeku, or Japanese Wolf in the Moonlight. Now this pen will not be one that you're gonna see too often since they're only making 50 of them, but this Sailor Bespoke 1911 King of Pens, Japanese Wolf in the Moonlight, not only does the name sound epic, but the hand applied Yurushi lacquer and Makia techniques that are used show this incredible design of a lone wolf howling at the moon. The whole pen is a midnight blue, which I don't see that often with these high-end Makia pens. It looks awesome. And the setting of the moon, the clouds, the stars, and the howling wolf demand your attention. Having held this pen in my hands, I have to say it looks even better than it does in the pictures. And while it'll probably remain elusive and free from most of our pen collections, I think it's something that we can all appreciate for its beauty. All right, we're here at the top of the list. I hope you've enjoyed this so far. Make sure to check out the Goulet Pen Company channel page on YouTube for about 2,000 other videos that we've done. There's more on fountain pens than you probably could ever want to know. But anyway, here's my top pen for the summer of 2022, the Twisby 580 Iris. I mean, what can I say? I love Twisbees for their function, design, and affordability. And with this iridescent finish on the trim, ooh, it just slaps. It looks great on the VAC 700R Iris. And when I heard the same finish was coming out on the 580, I knew it would be incredible and it did not disappoint. What I like even more about this than the VAC 700R Iris is the clip. The clip on all VAC 700Rs is matte, which does look cool in its own right, but the iridescent finish just jumps out at you on this big shiny 580 clip. The nib looks great too, it's just a beautiful pen. I think on other iridescent pens, it can be a bit much, but with just the trim being iridescent on this pen, it's a nice pop of color that I think everybody can enjoy. I was gonna do some honorable mentions here, but seeing as how this list was originally only supposed to be three pens and I already expanded it to nine, yeah, that's kind of what I do. So I figured I should just stop. Thank you so much for watching and right on.